when sort of a crop is in the field, the leaves at the top of the crop in full sunlight are receiving a lot more energy than they can actually use in photosynthesis. But they're absorbing that energy. So the, the green pigment that makes the leaf green, of course, is, is absorbing that light. And the pigments are being energized. If they don't get rid of that energy, it'll actually bleach the leaf. So what a leaf does is it induces a process which converts that energy harmlessly into heat. Now, that, that's fine for protecting the leaf in full sunlight, but now a cloud crosses the sun and that leaf goes into shade. So now it's limited by light in the shade, but it's still getting rid of a lot of that light energy as heat. And it carries on doing that for many, many minutes. And so some time ago, we, again in the computer, we simulated this phenomenon and we said, for a crop in the field, how much productivity is it losing by this slow relaxation? And it turned out to be, under some conditions, as much as 40%. So then what we've been looking at is, well, how can we speed up that process? How can we change that genetically so that it doesn't take many minutes for this to relax? And so we, in the end, again through computer simulation, we located about three genes that we needed to upregulate. I, they, they would make more of the protein than they're making today. And so we've, basically what we've done is we've put in extra copies of the gene that already exists in the plant to make more of those proteins. And in doing that, we've managed to speed this up. And so we uh, were able to validate that in the laboratory. And then we took that to field trials. So we basically repeated this change three times separately. And then we put out multiple plots of these um, change plants to then see, could we get more productivity in the field situation? And we found that with those three separate, three separate events of doing this, we managed to get between 14 and 20% more productivity. So, so this is the change we really now want. We're now starting to introduce into rice, cowpea, and cassava. There certainly is opposi opposition to this. And of course, as a, as a scientist, I struggle to understand it because this is really the most exact way in which we can change the genetics of a, of a crop. We know exactly what we're putting in, whereas with conventional breeding that, of course, we also use, we're often introducing many genes. We have no idea. We, we, we know that one of those genes gives us a benefit, but we're introducing many other genes that we really don't know what they do. They could be for all we know, they could be mild toxins or even allergens, but, but that is considered natural. But if I just take the one gene that we want to put in to make an improvement, that is considered, that receives opposition. Um, so scientifically, it, it can be very hard to understand uh, why there is opposition, but there is opposition.